Let's look at how to get a default animation instance for your SwiftUI animation when using the animation modifier or when you apply the animation modifier to your SwiftUI views. If you want to get a default animation instance using the animation modifier, once you add the animation modifier to your view, you can specify the animation as default. With that, you get a spring animation with all these parameters. You can see here we have response, damping fraction and blend duration with these values. That works with iOS 17 and above. Before iOS 17, the default animation was easing out. So using the with animation function, you do not need to specify to get a default animation. But once you want to use the animation modifier, we have to specify that. Let's go back to Xcode and start adding the animation. I will double click on the ellipses to expand the code. First, we will define a state here and specify the initial state of the animation. So we have the variable flip angle. This animation will be a little bit different from the previous one. Over here, we define the text as an array. The intention is to flip each of the characters instead of flipping the whole text as one object. So for the button action, we can bring flip angle and check to see if the value is zero. If so, we set the angle of rotation to one complete revolution, which is 360. Otherwise, we set it to zero. Using ternary conditional operation, the flipping effect is a 3D rotation. So let's add the 3D rotation modifier here and set the angle to the state variable we defined. Then we want to rotate each of the characters on the X axis. You can also try rotating them on the Y or the Z axis, depending on how you want the animation to look. Lastly, we will add the animation modifier. The first parameter is the easing. So here we want a default animation so we can put a period and select default. Then the second parameter is the value parameter. So for the value, we are going to use the state variable we defined here. Now we can tap to flip it. That flips the whole text. That is not what we want. We want to flip the individual characters. To do that, we can introduce delay so that we flip the characters one after the other. So let's add a delay here. If we add a delay, for example, 0.2, that is applied to the whole text. Or let's use one. You can see it waits for one second before it flips. We want the individual characters instead. So let's remove that. In order to flip the individual characters one after the other, we have to use the loop variable here for the for each loop. So let's copy that and paste it here. Then we will multiply it by 0.1. So what we are doing here is to take each character and multiply it by 0.1 delay. We still get an error because we need to convert it to a double. So let's try that and see. If you don't want to rotate it on the X axis, we can remove the one and put zero. Then for the Y coordinate, we set it as one. Now we have the 3D rotation effect happening on the Y axis. We can also combine them by setting, for example, the X as one as well. By combining the coordinates, you can create really nice animations. So that is how to get a default animation instance in SwiftUI when using the animation modifier. Thanks for watching this video and wait for the next.